guys welcome to family create hope you're all doing well so we've received some questions from you guys with regards to the eSIM we decided to do a video and show you what happens so here we go so if you try and activate eSIM on this uh, particularly from the EE network in, here in UK so let me show you what happens and how that process should work so you go to settings you find options here there's mobile network we go there go airplane mode because obviously it's got mobile connection in there and then you have all these other a few other options you've got mobile data you got auto disable network and you got eSIM so and then you got network status and you got mobile data usage monthly so you can track how much data you're using when it's all activated so currently if i go to eSIM here it gives me this message to um, add a eSIM in the huawei health under settings it's just an option to detect auto detect eSIM so I just select that I've tried both ways it doesn't make any difference and then about cancellation so if you had a, net, a data in there data plan or eSIM plan in your cancel it you can do that here so and then you can reset it so if we go back and we say add we should pick this up on Huawei Health so we go to Huawei Health and here's the screen see what's what's happening here it's giving this message that EE doesn't support this service yet for details contact your network provider uh, and then it tells you about how to activate an eSIM basic one number two devices so you got two options with this eSIM on, on, on this on this watch which is great really first is you can have an eSIM activated it's gonna be the same phone number that you have on your phone and on your watch so if you have a if you have someone calling your number it will ring on your phone as well as your watch now you don't have to have your phone with you your phone could be left at home you can also send sms messages directly from the watch when you're connected now as you can see here so ee says it doesn't support this feature yet and I've, I've looked into it a bit more and i can't seem to find a way um it's basically saying there's no option there's nothing you can do here if i tap on this activate button um, activate button here nothing happens you can tap on ec user guide and it gives you some quick instructions as to what to do so support for the eSIM service activating eSIM, and you can go into one of those and it just tells you what you have to do um, and what what happens really how it happens how the service works yeah but the problem is you can't activate an eSIM unfortunately which is which is um, not really great because it kind of means if I if I want to use an eSIM on this watch I'll have to consider moving to Vodafone network because Vodafone as far as I know Vodafone are the only network provider in the United Kingdom UK that actually support this feature of um, one number so you can have that feature that i was explaining earlier where you can either have it uh, on your both on your watch and your phone or you can have a total independent separate line so you can have a separate line with its own data and you can enable that okay so in this part now i'm going to show you how to activate an independent sim so i'm now going to try and activate this here uh, and show you how it's done if i just go into the phones Huawei health app so once you're in the health app you when you're here we're going to go to eSIM management so there's two options you, you got here you got one the first one which is one number two devices which we tried with the so this option here the second option which is standalone number what this does is it makes the watch completely standalone uh, it's got it'll have its own phone number and it won't be reliant on the phone's network connection at all but on this particular um, option it's just going to be a phone on its own really this watch so you, you you don't have to have your phone with you at all you can have that watch and you should be able to make and receive calls and deal with text messages sms so let's try this and see how the activation process works so it just says um, your watch will have a separate phone number and a mobile plan so minutes and data included battery may drain faster so yeah this option will eat more of the battery but you know it's one of those things that you either want so here as you can see act activate the standalone eSIM and then you go on the bottom activate and then you got a guide so I'm going to click on activate and see where that takes us so it's got some options here uh, and it tells you so you can activate um follow the steps to activate the eSIM standalone service so you go activate in person 
So visit your network provider providing customer service and give your ID and stuff like that. And they'll be able to do this. Or option two, you can scan the QR code, which is what I'm going to do and try and activate this. So I think I've already got, I've already downloaded my eSIM um, code and it just says, make sure you have stable Bluetooth and internet connection during the process. SMS verification is required. Make sure your SIM card is working. This service may need to obtain device information such as SIM card identifier uh, and device identifier. So I am EI number and stuff. Um, contact your network provider for information about supporting your region. So anyway, let's scan. So we're going to scan the QR code now that we've got. Um, so let's click scan. I'm going to scan it off my... Um, scanning off this phone hopefully it works oh, it's already ready so it's now yep as you can see something's happening so it's analyzing successful so it's got a couple of things i could read so after confirming this sim please touch um, next to configure the watch during this process your network provider may require you to enter a confirmation code and then the watch at the same time is saying make sure the phone screen is on with the health app open downloading so it's kind of looks like it's downloading and installing uh, the configuration file do not leave this screen once added the eSIM will activate automatically so i just click next here i think okay on the watch as you can see now got the message saying eSIM configured successfully next so let's tap next auto disable network to save power mobile network will automatically disable in certain scenarios so, so i'm getting all this message from like a mobile coming through now it's great to see this is now finally a phone calling device capable of sending messages have a quick look at sending a message and see how that works okay let's say yes to this for now and then what i'll do i can disable this when we're testing the sim card for sms done so it looks like it's done and on the, on the phone what is saying your watch is downloading the eSIM profile automatically yes i think we've completed this already now let's just quickly to see that there is connection here uh, i think let's go down to the watch's settings so i think previously when we looked at it we didn't have any anything highlighted under this so now when we go to mobile network let's see what if I happens if i go to eSIM yeah see this is picking up like a mobile settings what happens here yeah, auto detect uh new sim so that's fine so let's see um i'm gonna i think i'm gonna disable bluetooth just for now so we can try this without phone has no connection to bluetooth so go there bluetooth off you can see here um like a mobile 3g and you got how many bars of reception signal so go there go back there again yeah so now like look net network status i can see now network status who the network provider is the signal strength 4g so we haven't obviously registered the voice over lte yet and then mobile data let's have a look what it says there so mobile data enabled so we can disable that if we didn't want mobile data for example unnecessarily using mobile data when we're out and about okay and then so the final thing to check here is we're gonna test making a call but i want you to check the sms to make sure that that's working ah, see so it's not working before you would just say uh, you, you needed to connect and activate the sim card if i press plus now recipient's name okay so i think you type your content here so so I finally managed to activate the eSIM on my Huawei Watch 4 Pro. So here's the message, so let's just see. So I finally managed to activate, it didn't exactly get activated, it says activities in my Huawei Watch 4 Pro. Anyway, that'll do, let's send it. And then it's sent. So we'll see how long it takes for her to receive that message just come through so you can see we are all set we have the eSIM activated on Huawei watch 4 pro 
So that's really good because now I can go out with this watch on my wrist without having to take my phone with me. Obviously the WhatsApp thing is in there, but I'm going to try and see if I can put that into side loading apps. But at least, at least there's some good news, at least some features work in here, some messaging over there. And also just to show you on this on this particular message app, as well as I use a voice dictation, but you, you know, you could have easily typed it in or something like that. And you've got those predefined messages as well. Um, and there's more options, so there's more. So you can you can go to call. So let me see what happens if I click on call. So you can actually write a number up and make a call. Or there's a number already identified on the top. I can just call call using that. And if I go back and the contacts should also bring me back to the contacts page with all the contacts. Yep, that's really nice. Okay. So shall I try and make a call and see what happens? So the calls come through. It's coming through. Okay. Should I answer it so we can yeah. um, hear the quality of the Yeah, but you should go out to the other room, I think. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me properly? Crystal clear. Oh, that's very good. I can, I can hear very clearly. There's a slight echo because you're still quite close to the room. Yeah, normally the, when you call from the pixel, it's kind of like um, make shrinky noise, but this one is like almost like crystal clear, like the phone. And and yeah, you can I can control the volume, um, the the voice as well. So how loud. How, how, you, know, you can control that here and then there's other options of um, output let's see what that does so you watch speaker is already set I think that's the only option there is um, okay bye. okay then All right. so there you have it um, that's sorted so you know you can get your eSIM act working here on this watch if you have any SIM so guys if you want us to try out any particular aspect of the watch do comment down below and let us know and we'll give it a go so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. If you have, please do give it a like and support us by subscribing. Until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.